golfer you got to pay some golfing dues sooner or later one way or another you're gonna get the golfing blues it starts when you think it can't be that hard to hit a ball that never even moves then you whiff it you fluff it you dub it and you duff it now you got the golfing blues you get up at dawn and put your golfing clothes on you fill your bag with titleists and tees your gloves cut bread a leather fit for any kind of weather you got your fifty dollar green fees you're feeling in the pink as you head out to the links you've got no golfing worries at all but when you try to hit it you take a two for divot and the divot travels farther than the ball if you grip it and rip it then you just can't seem to chip it you hit it fat and then you hit it then it, you slice it before you realize it you got the golfing blues again now it's a brand new golfing day you got a fresh 18 to play your clubs are cleaned and ready to go when you take your crack to swing birds come out to sing today you just might shoot your old time low but you chunk it you yip it you choke and chilly dip it you stub and flub each simple pitch and run you skull it you yank it you pop it up and shank it and the golf and blues have only just begun you hit it off the toe you hit it off the heel you hit it everywhere but on the screws you bounce it off a tree and then your partner's knee now you both have got the golfing blues golfing is a game for all kinds of folks for christians for muslims and for jews it's for doctors and dentists and seventh day adventists they all can get the golfing blues you went and bought some callaway titanium hybrids and four different wedges you could choose if you got the newest gear but the same old swing you're gonna wind up with the golfing blues you hit it so far right you're out of everybody's sight you find your ball in knee high grass if you think no one will know it and you take the ball and throw it golfing karma is gonna kick your golfing ass Time is gonna bite you in the ass. So you take some lessons, you take some pills, you begin to meditate and pray. You try some golf hypnosis, wind up with a neurosis, and the golfing blues come back anyway. So you smack it. Hack it, you wear your green jacket, you'd sell your soul to shoot even par. And all this time you're thinking that you gotta put off your drink until you're sitting in the clubhouse bar. But when you whack it in the woods, or launch it in the lake, or 
not get near the grassy knoll before you lose your temper all you need is to remember to take a drink on each and every hole a sip of scotch a jigger of gin a swig of warm tequila no need to let your scorecard stop your fun if your tea shot doesn't please you pour some liquid anesthesia you'll put the golf and blues on the run seven drinks on seven crown if you're happy with what you shoot nab a nip of absolute and if you're not just raise a glass of something brown when the sun's high in the sky you try some irish rye when it rains you drink canadian mist if the course becomes too dark move on to maker's mark Golf and blues will cease to exist. The golf and blues just can't persist. If you don't convert that sandy, grab a gulp of summer shandy. Two bogeys means you drink two Moscow mules. If you're in the fairway bunker, the key's getting drunker. If you're drunk enough, it's always winner rules. If you make the putt for eagle, share some shots of Shiva's Regal. If you miss it, try a taste of Tanqueray. If you drink when you're the low man and when you make a snowman, it really doesn't matter how you play. You got to bring enough uh, golfing blues. If you don't bring enough, then when you're searching through the rough, all you'll find will be the golfing blues. So watch out for that sand trap. Be sure to wear your golfing shoes. And watch out for that frog pond. Watch out for the golfing blues.